Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's Daily Love Tarot Reading. So you're probably wondering why this looks different. <laughs> and all of that is going to be explained to you because I feel like it's all pretty relevant, okay? This is an important reading. Today we are going to be asking what do they secretly want to tell you? So the reason why these are like this, if you watch the pick a card on Tuesday, you may already know this, but if you didn't see that reading, this is why this daily reading looks so different. So you see the piles of cards here. These are already pulled. I won't be shuffling today. These are filmed in advance. Okay. As I've told you in the past, uh, time doesn't exist on the energetic level. So these are filmed in advance. This is, was due to be released on Saturday which is today when you're watching this. Um, so anyway, I notice I, as, as I'm editing, I notice that the audio at the beginning of the reading is perfectly fine. Somewhere right around the middle, there's just some crazy crackle going on. I can barely hear myself. I'm literally like inaudible at times. So, I mean, it was so loud. So anyway, I think my hair like somehow got touching my mic because my mic tends to slip down sometimes near my shoulder and then um you know I think it maybe got wrapped up in my hair I don't know anyway this reading was way too good to throw away <laughs> so I went back through the video I notated all the messages that came through during the reading and actually more came through as I was watching it back so it may be a quick reading today but I think you'll actually get more benefit from it Okay, um, I won't need to shuffle, so it might be quick, but more messages did come through as I was doing this process. So I don't believe in coincidences, as you know. So I feel like just the fact that it's taking me three tries, okay, and yes, you did hear me right, three tries. You'll understand why it's three tries in a moment. More messages coming through was very important. So I do feel like this is a pretty powerful reading for someone watching okay um and I also feel like the number three may be somehow relevant to someone as well okay so let's get into the cards and you'll you'll figure out exactly why I said three tries right now as I explain this okay so the first one out was beauty of age okay and the reason why I said three tries was just a moment ago um and I mean the reason why I said three tries just a moment ago was because um, when I first did this reading, okay, I filmed this reading um, right after Friday's reading, okay, and this one popped out and I was like, oh no, I thought I didn't clear the cards. So I stopped the video. I threw it out. That was try, try number one, <laughs> okay? I, I like literally doubted myself. I was like, maybe I didn't clear the cards. I mean, but I know I definitely did for that second take, which was the one with the crackly audio, okay? And now here we are at the third video. But because this came out again after I knew I cleared the cards and restarted the video, I feel like this is a very important message, okay? So this person secretly wants you to know that they find you super attractive, okay? I feel like this is for someone that suffers from, you know, low self-worth or self-esteem issues, okay? Um, I definitely feel like that's the that's why it was so important that it came through. Spirit really wanting you to know that this person thinks you're incredibly attractive, absolutely beautiful, um, mature, and they also love your sense of humor, which came through as well, okay? Um, then we had our tarot cards, okay? So the first tarot card out was the Two of Wands, and what came through here was planning something, that they and they have a decision to make. So they're planning something, what do they secretly want to tell you? They're, they're planning something, but they're not telling you for a reason, okay? So there's some sort of reason involved there. They might be struggling with the Five of Cups. They might be struggling with negative thoughts. Um, it may be standing a little bit in the way of this plan too, okay? What I was feeling was that they would start to plan something, but then they'd get lost in these negative thoughts and it would kind of bring them backward a bit. So they may not be expressing this to you either um, since it's coming through in what do they secretly want to tell you, right? Then we had out the King of Pentacles, okay? And this is they want to provide for you. They really want to take care of you. 
this person is planning something really big here, okay? I feel like it's a future plan with this King of Pentacles coming out. I feel like it was a long-term commitment. They may even, you know, like want to marry you or commit here in some sort of way. If this person hasn't expressed this long-term desire, they definitely want that, is what I'm feeling here, okay? With the King of Pentacles. So then, after that, I feel like they could be planning an engagement with this as well. Um, that was another message that came through, an engagement. Um, and then this one came through, which was the Ten of Cups, okay? Which the Ten of Cups, you know, I told you it was big. I knew it was big from the beginning here. As I was pulling these cards, these energies were huge. Um, happily Ever After card, you know, this is about marriage and family. They want to marry you. They want to build something really big, okay? And then we had the Knight of Cups, but in between that, there was also where I noticed this five, okay, um, in the in the original video, uh, that five really had stood out to me, and Spirit reminded me about how this week's readings have been, okay? So, if you watched, like, this week up until now, uh, on day one, which is Sunday for me, that's day one of these dailies, um, I noticed that, you know, as I was shuffling, whatever, I, I intended on four cards, but five came out. And, you know, I was like, hey, you know, that's pretty cool. You know, five tarot cards. Then I did the five of the spirit cats and I did five of the dream rose oracle. And, it, you know, I liked it. I thought it was great. However, spirit brought this to my attention in this reading, I feel, for a reason too. Because I felt so compelled to tell you that um, in that reading. And it was, I feel like the 555, that means that there is big change coming, okay? So again, I feel like it was very important. I felt like it was very relevant. And because it came through in that reading, I just wanted to make sure I convey that to you here. So there is a big change on the horizon here and there is some sort of secret or something like that surrounding it, okay? Also came through. And then we had the Knight of Cups. Um, right after this, when Spirit brought this to my attention, we had the Knight of Cups, and they have deep, powerful romantic relation uh, relationship feelings for you, okay? So they, this is uh, romantic relationship feelings, right? So it's not just, you know, love, unconditional love, yes, but not just like, you know, love you like a brother or sister. This is that romantic love relationship feelings okay so very very powerful to uh, romantic feelings they've actually like fallen in love with you they want to offer you love they may be expressing feelings here too with this knight of cups coming through okay definitely feeling like that loving like nurturing type of I want to protect you okay it was a very special kind of energy here so then we had this card here, which was play, okay? This little cute cat here, and he is play. And what came through here was they want to have fun with you. They want to be playful. They want to spend some time with you. Um, again, they could be holding back because of these negative thoughts, but I feel like it's, you know, something to do with, you know, maybe even their own self-worth issues because self-worth issues came through um, for you here, you know, they want you to know how much they really are attracted to you. Um, and that was a message I feel for you, but here I feel like it could be for them. Okay. Then we have this one here, which is magic maker. So what do they secretly want to tell you here? They want this, they want to make whatever this is that they're planning, whatever decision they're making, some sort of plan. They want to make it feel magical. Okay. Okay. I mean, this could be someone wanting to propose. Like I said, uh, they have pretty big energy coming through here. Um, I feel like they have a deep, deep, powerful connection with you. And they may have um, even told you that, you know, they, they may be afraid to tell you. Yeah, they may be afraid to tell you. They may be afraid to tell you that they see a future with you here, okay? They may be, because it's in this reading with the what What do they secretly want to tell you? So they may be afraid to tell you. That could be why they're having negative thoughts too, you know? They might be a little bit fearful there. 
and then these two came through together and we have they're so cute imagination and expression together so right here they were feeling the dreaming of the future and they wanting to express feelings okay it definitely did come through on the knight of cups also they're feeling powerful love feelings they're wanting to express but they're definitely in their imagination and dreaming of their future with you here if you haven't if they haven't told you any of this um that they want to see you in their future they definitely do okay they might not be saying like you know, I want to marry you in the future or you're my person or something like that, but they definitely do feel it. They feel it within. Okay, let's get this last one out here, which is cuddles, okay? So with cuddles, uh, they want it to be really next to you. They want to be close to you. They may be at a distance at this time, but they definitely want to be holding you and close to you. It's a very, very beautiful, tender energy. Um, a very loving and nurturing energy that was coming through with this card here. Very, very beautiful. Okay, and then we had the marriage card, and I absolutely knew it from the beginning of this reading. I felt it from the beginning. Multiple energies of this. This person is really looking at you as someone they could marry and spend the rest of their life with, okay? They really feel this strongly. And then we had together, we had twin flames and attraction came out next and they came out together. Um, so I feel like they may feel like you're twin flames, like you're meant to be together. Um, there's definitely a deep, powerful attraction that they were feeling for you, a very intense pull. Um, they might be expressing that they're drawn to you, but they they might be expressing it in a way like maybe with this cuddles you know they might be maybe just trying like to it's small gestures uh, is what i was getting okay it's like small gestures like the touch of a hand okay it's something small that i was feeling um because they may be still fearful of coming out and actually saying it okay that they're so drawn to you that they feel like you're their person I feel like they're a little bit nervous about that so it may come through in like little small touches or things like that okay so that was pretty powerful too something to be on the lookout for if you know you're with your person and you're unsure about how they're feeling or you know, and then a little small touch happens, you'll know that it's really them internally wanting to express so, so much to you, but kind of holding back, okay? Then we had the taking action, which this is them planning that next step, okay? And that one was pretty straightforward. Um, that's pretty much all that came through there. I didn't even receive any additional messages with that one upon watching it back. It was more about this plan. So I feel like that's a pretty important part here. And then as I was shuffling, um, talking about this one, this one just literally flew out like so fast um, into the screen um, in the original, obviously the second take. Um, but yeah, so they definitely feel like you are part of their destiny. You're where they belong. You're the person for them, but they're fearful of saying that. Again, I feel like it's just a small amount of fear. They they might be just going back and forth with these negative thoughts, okay? But they might be, um, they might, like I said, say a little bit or small little gestures, but I feel like they're second guessing themselves a lot, okay? I feel like they're definitely like, they get a little bit nervous when it's about time to say something and then they might have a negative thought and spiral but what i'm feeling here with these energies coming through the king of pentacles ten of cups and knight of cups i feel like this is kind of squashing this negativity they're starting to feel more confident okay so Wow. Okay, guys, that is what I have for you for today. Um, as I said, I felt like it was a very important reading, especially how it took so many tries to get it to you. And when I feel those messages are important for you, I really will try to go to any length to get them to you. So here they are. And I really hope that this reading was helpful for you. As always, I'm sending you lots of love, 
light and good vibes your way. Have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.